Hey, what is up guys? This is FNH here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can set up your own VPS for really cheap. Okay, so you know, I know a lot of people are interested in getting their own VPS for whatever reasons, right? And you know, a lot of people don't know where to start and the thing is pretty expensive, right? Um, you know, even to get started with something small. Um, and you know, that's not really true. It's very simple to get started and it's very cheap as well. All right, so I'm on this website, forexcheapvps.com, right? Um, this is just one of the many different VPS providers. You know, obviously you can go just Google it. You'll find a whole bunch, you know, um, a whole bunch of different ones. But, um, you know, this one I just had, I needed something quick and easy. So, um, you know, I had a recommend recommendation from this, um, from a friend for this. So I decided to use it. And you can see they have different tiers, right? Regular is starting from $5 a month. Regular, you can choose from 1 to 8 gig RAM, disk space, which OS, the CPU, and which instance, right? Um, so obviously the $5 a month probably is like the 1 gig RAM or, um, you know, the least, basically whatever the least is, right? And, you know, obviously, I mean, it really depends on what you're going to be using it for, right? Um, so you want to basically get something that will uh, be enough for whatever you, you're planning on to use it for. All right. So if you're running some kind of, uh, you know, heavy service in the back end, obviously you don't want something which is one gig RAM and one core CPU. Um, you know, it definitely probably will lag. Right. And not only lag, it probably won't even run. All right. Um, so, yeah. Um, I purchased this right I got the regular Forex VPS I just needed something small for my um, you know something I was doing right so and this was really quick to set up so basically all you have to do is purchase the plan set it up use it right and then you can see over here I pay I got the $15 a month one right and you can see I recently got it around a couple of days ago four days ago right and it's active so you can see here is the data on it right or I guess the specs on it um, so one dedicated IP there's 4 gig RAM uh, 2 core CPU and 30 gig disk space and 3 terabyte traffic monthly okay and to way to access it is RDP uh, I can be you know basically on Windows or any uh, mobile device all right, so you know, once you purchase this, you have to wait around like probably like 15 20 minutes for it to set up, right? Um, so it's not like a right away thing, you, there's a little waiting for them to set up your server and everything to basically get working properly. Uh, they do let out an email notification letting you know when everything is completed. All right, so now to access it, um, you can go to remote desktop connection, right? And you can see when you open it, it'll be like this and they'll tell you what your username and uh, password is as well as what computer IP you need to connect right um, they'll send you all that in the email so um, my preference is you want to do show options put the computer name and then the username put um, whatever your computer is your computer name is and slash whatever um, username they give you okay so you put the IP and the username and you can do always ask your credentials or not but if it is your first time connecting it will ask you to enter the password and you can basically have it remembered or um, ask you every time so let me just connect this and you can see right here this is the computer right uh, let me open up the specs on this right you can see 4 gig RAM um, it's this processor I'm not really sure what processor that is but basically it's uh, what is it 2 core yeah 2 core processor right 64-bit um, and it's a Windows machine right so you know you can do whatever you want to do on Windows you can do it over here uh, it's really simple to use just basically everything's here already you know install Chrome it's a brand new Windows server right um, so it's very similar to like Windows you know, 8 or 10 or whatever. And, you know, you can install programs the way you want and just do whatever you want with it. So, you know, there are different types of VPSs. Some are Windows. Some are, you know, um, Linux. Uh, I don't really know if there are any Mac ones, but most people don't use Mac ones, right? They either use Linux or Windows. And, yeah. 
so yeah that's basically it you know just a quick tutorial on how to get your own VPS started um, you know it's very simple and easy and cheap I should say and yeah if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them down in the description below if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys next time